Hello everyone, I am Veos, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video, or KSP video. Today we'll be finding out where exactly you should land if you're in career mode in order to receive 100% or most of your funds back to you. Some of you may already know this, but for those of you who don't, let's dive right in. Now what I've built here is a little something or rather in order to produce at least a thousand funds. Why a thousand? Because we can break this into a percentage, like 100.0 percent. So when we re when we recover it, we can just subtract how much Kerbal Bucks we're missing, which will give us the percentage of how much is taken away from us. Simple, right? First, we'll go ahead and put the craft on three places on the runway, in the front, the back, and the middle, just to see if there's any difference. Probably not, but leave no stone unturned. All right, the front of the runway, we're going to recover it and see how much we get. 100%. That's to be expected, so okay. Now let's do the recover it from the end of the runway. Again, 100%, okay? The middle of the runway, 100%. Now let's go ahead and recover it in front of the space plane hangar. Ah, 980 or 98%. Refunds, ref, refunds, what the fuck? Funds recovered. So about 2% is taken away from us. Let's go a little further back. Let's, let's test out some more buildings. Maybe it's, maybe it's building related? More than likely it's distance related, but we'll check it out. Nope, 980, okay. Let's put it on the launch pad, see if we get a full refund. And yes, we get a full refund from the launch pad. That's, that's to be expected. And the communications and detection systems, radar, whatever's. Again, 980, okay. And of course, at the science place, 980. Now, how about, how about if we are actually way over yonder? How much do we start losing there? Okay, so from way over there, we, we got back 978 bucks, which is like 97.8%. So we lost a little over 3%. Okay, not, not too much of a drop, but let's, let's try the island. Let's go over to the island and see if we can get anything from the island. I'm going to guess that we get 100% because it's a runway, but you never know. And here we are at the island, and of course, recover. 100%. Okay, I, I kind of saw that coming. But what about being underneath one of the uh, hangar bays and the island? Uh, it, well, yeah. What the fuck? Huh, 100%. So I'm guessing that the platform that the hangar bays are on, everything is 100%. I'm going to guess that the whole thing, regardless of where you're at, at the island runway, you'll get 100%. As long as you're on that plateau. That's what I'm going to guess. Anyway. I'm curious as to how, well, not how, but if I go to the desert runway, it'll probably be recovered, recoverable at 100%. But let's say you accidentally slide off the runway and recover the plane just off the runway. So I'm going to do both real quick. Okay, here we are at the desert runway. Recover. 100%. I saw that coming a mile away. And what happens if you accidentally kind of rolled off the runway just a little bit? And recover. Aha! 640 bucks, 64% back, which would mean a 36% reduction in refunds. Not horrible, but kind of sharp. So if you're landing at the runway at the desert in career mode, do not deviate from the said runway or you ain't getting paid. But how far or how much money will we lose if we go the farthest farthest away as possibly possible as we can from the ksc how f how f fucked will we be financially when it comes to recovering okay so i've got the probe on literally the exact opposite end of the planet let's see what we get oh ha, ha. <laughs> ow out of a thousand, which is 100.0%, we get 108 Kerbal Bucks back, which is technically 10.8%. Ah, what is that? Like 89.2% refunds that we don't get? Does that make any fucking sense? What the fuck am I talking about? 89.2% reduction in refunds. Woo! So yeah. But it makes sense, right? Because if you land on the opposite end of the planet compared to where you're 
where your space center is, that means you have to pay someone to go out there and retrieve it, or, and hear me out on this, pay several someones to go out there and retrieve it. First you have a local business over there that gets it, and then they transfer it over to another business that takes it, like from ship to boat to plane to truck. And so by the time it gets back to you, it's done gone through all kinds of customs and papers and oh my gosh, the logistic nightmare. But yeah, that makes that makes sense actually. That that makes that makes perfect sense. So I'm going to guess that it would be a perfect 90% reduction in refunds if you were absolutely perfectly the farthest away that you could could be from the KSC. Just because it was 89 point something percent just means that, you know, I didn't really hit the perfect spot. I was just guesstimating. But anyway, so knowing this, you can kind of figure out where on the map, if you land, the percentage of how much you're going to lose when it comes to refunding your spacecraft. Of course, this is not including the fuel that you burned off. You're going to lose that money. We all know this. But if you land in the desert, you know, you know, you're going to be at least, you know, depending on how far away in the desert you are, it's going to be 30 plus, almost 40 percent, you know, further away from that 50, 60, 70 percent reduction in refunds, all that jazz. Unless, of course, you land somewhere that has a runway or launch pad. And then for some magical reason, it doesn't matter. (laughs) For some magical reason, it doesn't matter as long as you land on a runway or a launch pad you could be on the opposite end of Kerbin and be just fine because why the fuck not logistics be damned that's just how it is well everyone thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for watching if you liked what you saw please leave a like and if you really 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 liked what you saw consider subscribing we got a uh, membership program too if you want if you become a member you'd be get the little cool emojis and badges and badges and stuff what the fuck am i talking about and if you want to be notified uh any video that i drop please hit that bell notification because youtube will literally leave you in the digital dust it does not care if you're subscribed if i come out with a video it'll go huh nobody hit that bell notification all of these subscribers and nobody hit the bell notification you know what I'm just going to give it to this one guy right here, this one individual that's that clicked on the bell notification to hell with all the other subscribers. Only this person right here is going to receive the 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 bing as to how this individual just dropped a video because YouTube is freaking gangster like that. I don't know why it just is. But anyway, thank you all for coming. Love you all. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Or video. Yeah. Bye for now. Bye-bye.